てぅれぅれれれてぅん、てぅれれてぅん、てぅれれれれてぅん、てぅれれれれてぅん。He doesn't sell, except for items. It's weird. He's not Irish. American. But he's a breeder. Breeder. And breeders do it better. He is Anto 1011. Anto 1011. And his best friend is RNG Reporter. Hello, people. This is AA Antar. I mean, AA Amazing. I mean, Antar 1011. Um, bringing you my 19th narrated Wi-Fi battle. Um, with apologies to AA Amazing. Uh, I really hope he has a good sense of humor, either that or that he never watches this channel. Um, but, yeah, uh, so what the heck was the deal with that? Did I just feel like trying to get a copyright infringement notification? Um, no. Uh, so my opponent today is CoolPeople33. Uh, I actually had this battle a super long time ago. Um, but after this battle, um, after we had this battle, uh, CoolPeople33 was like, Oh man, we should totally have a rematch. And I was like, No man, I can't. I don't really have any more teams. And he's like, What? Why don't you have any more teams? Uh, this was before my Sam team was ready, by the way, just so you have a sense of what's going, uh, you know, why I didn't have any more teams. Um, and I was like, Well, it's because I breed. And he's like, You breed? Oh, you're one of those people. And I'm like, What people? It's like, Oh, those people who are like, Oh, breeding's good and Pokesav is bad. And I'm like, um, not really. Did I say you shouldn't focus up? Was I like, oh, you sub, I'm not gonna battle you? No, I totally wasn't like that. So, uh, I was, the, so he asked me, well, then why do you, uh, breed instead of sub? And I had to think about it for a while. Because, um, I mean, part of it I determined was it's because I don't like to have to worry at all about passing hack checks. And if I breed them myself, I know that they must pass hack checks because they're not hacked. Um, another thing, though, is that just it's just it's part of the game to me, uh, breeding them. I mean, I'm not going to hold anyone else to that standard because I am, I admit it's a pain in the ass. But I'm, you know, a little OCD and obsessive, um, and I don't mind putting in the time. And you know, if I just want to use perfect Pokemon that don't take any effort to, to use, I'm going to use, um, you know, I'm going to go on to uh, Pokemon Online. And so yeah, that's that. So let me get down actually to the real battle uh, that's going on. So um, <laughs> nothing much has happened so far. It's not like I missed out on anything. He set up Stealth Rocks, and I keep blowing them away with Rapid Spin. Um, and you know I'm down to one HP, so I'm waiting for him to kill me, um, just so I can get a free switch in uh, with no rocks up. And uh, yeah, so I'm just really hoping that you know I'm just waiting for him to you know finally get wise and stop <laughs> setting up Stealth Rocks. I'm kind of curious which has more uh, PP at this point, uh, Stealth Rocks or Rapid Spin. But I really don't want to find out because then this would be the longest battle in existence. So yeah, here comes another Rapid Spin. Um, he's faster with his uh, Swampert. Yeah, <laughs> this is just so funny. Um, yeah, and. I'm not doing any damage to him all because of the leftovers recovery. So finally, finally he uses Ice Beam after like a dozen turns. Uh, and so my Peanut goes down, um, but it did its job. It set up Stealth Rocks and blew um, his away. And so now I'm going to get a free switch in. And it's only then that I realize, wait a minute, I don't think I have anyone who can Oko a Swampert. So I go ahead and send in my Rotom Wash form and decide to go for a Hydro Pump since it's not resisted or anything. I'm hoping that I can KO. Um, but... It's not like I'm, uh, you know, I should have done the calcs, uh, but anyway, yeah, it's not enough to even two hit KO, which is really, really sad. And so all that was completely wasted what with the spinning away his rocks, because had I just done the switch, I would have had the free switch anyway, because he'd been set setting up his rocks. So anyway, I go for a second hydro pump. I'm really glad that none of them missed, and so I'm just wondering, you know, this is just getting ridiculous. Um, I'm going to have to three hit KO this thing. Um, he goes ahead and ice beams me, not going to do anything to my Rotom, uh, since it resists it. <clears throat> yeah, he gets a little bit of leftovers recovery action. Uh, do, 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 and that might, you know, I'm just really hoping that none of my hydro pumps miss. And indeed, three in a row, not bad, not bad, sir. Uh, so my Tachi Koma takes out his Swampert, but the rocks are up and my Rapid Spinner is down. So sad pandas all around. Um, so he goes ahead and sends out his Zapdos, and I'm just going to go ahead and Hydro Pump it. I mean, why the heck not? Um, you know, don't want to don't wanna, uh, over-predict anything with the switching. Um, and so indeed, you know, this is now my fourth Hydro Pump in, the, in a row that hasn't missed, so you can call that hacks on my end. That's kind of funny. Uh, but so anyway, he Toxics, expecting this switch into something that's, that wouldn't like being toxic, I guess. 
Um, although when I switch into my Roomba, my uh, Magnezone, uh, you know, wouldn't have been able to be toxic, and I think that would have been the best switch anyway, since I don't think I have anyone who could... Well, I guess I have, um, Embor for, you know, a Rock-type move. But anyway, yeah, so I keep Hydro Pumping, and that's now, uh, five Hydro Pumps? I think I must be down to, like, two PP left, because, um... His Zapdos has pressure after all. So anyway, I do manage to take down his Zapdos, and my Rotom is on a roll. Uh, my Scarf Rotom has KO'd two of his Pokémon with a really inaccurate move. He sends out Garchomp, and I'm like, uh, what the hell? I mean, Garchomp is, you know, weak to... It's not weak to a Hydro Pump, but it doesn't resist it either. And, you know, I'm Scarfed, so I'm probably going to be faster. And then he realizes this, I think, that Garchomp wasn't the best move. And so he goes ahead and switches into his Rancarusu, because that's, this is back in the days when it was actually Rancarusu instead of Rionculus, which I can't even pronounce. So anyway, I go ahead and Hydro Pump, um, and it's going to do a fair amount. Does it do over half? Yes, it does. Thanks to Stealth Rock damage, it does over half. And so at this point, I have to switch out, I'm pretty sure, because um, <laughs> I'm at I, I have, to have to struggle otherwise. I've used up all of my um, Hydro Pumps. But anyway, I go ahead and switch in Jane, my Asolgor. Um, and so I'm going to take Stealth Rock damage, which is not great. But anyway, um, his uh, Reunculus goes ahead and goes for recover, and I'm going to go ahead and use Bug Buzz, which um, this is before I swap that Bug Gem out, so I figure it'll be super duper effective, um, do a lot of damage, and might even KO. Um, but he decides to withdraw his Rankarusu and send out his Garchomp. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends out his Garchomp, um, takes some minimal Stealth Rock damage, and so my Bug Buzz, it's not going to be wasted, but it's not going to be super duper effective either. So, uh, there goes my Bug Buzz, um, and I'm just seeing how much this does to Little Chompy, and it actually does more than half. Um, so this is a Scarf Chomp, uh, as it's quite obvious from the fact that he outran my Aselgor, WTF mate, um, and so, but amazingly, Jane survives with 39 HP, I'm like, holy crap! Um, so Jane goes ahead and Bug Buzzes yet again, and I'm not sure if it's going to be enough to take it out, probably not. Um, and indeed, it is not. And now I'm really wishing I had my Dawn fan here, uh, still alive, to go for the uh, Ice Shard, but it's, it's dead, nothing I can do. Um, so I go ahead and send in my human, um, my Embor, because uh, this is a good situation for it. He's locked into uh, flare, Fire Blast, so I'm going to resist that. Not going to do too much to me, and if he switches out, then he's going to die from Stealth Rock damage, most likely. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, you know, ground types resist rock type moves, so I don't know whether he has 116 health or left, um, less. But anyway, um, he goes ahead and withdraws his Garchomp, um, and sends out his, uh, Reunculus at this point. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Flame Charge, um, which is going to boost my speed, which will be nice. I really should have left in my, um, what's I'm gonna call it? For, uh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so I get a, I get off the speed boost. I really should have um, let Human have a free switch in, so I could have actually had a shot at taking out that Garchomp. Um, but anyway, so now I'm going to be faster than most of his team, but it doesn't matter because I can't really do anything to this uh, Reunculus. But there, I can switch out into my own Reunculus, um, my Dave, uh, which will be able to resist probably most of his attacks, and uh, hopefully, you know, I can get off some combine boost and I'm going to be able to scare him out. And indeed, I do scare him out. Um, which is nice. And he, so he goes ahead and sends out his Lucario. Um, I predict the switch and go for the Calm Mind, not knowing who he was going to send out. So I'm now going to be at plus one um, a special attack and plus one special defense. And now um, I'm hoping that a Focus Blast will be enough to one-hit KO his Lucario. His Lucario is faster and goes for the Nasty Plot. Uh, which is going to double his special attack. So this is a special attack in Lucario. You don't usually see them because usually they you, they prefer to run extreme speed, I guess. But anyway, my Focus Blast misses, and I'm like, oh man, that sucks. Uh, he goes ahead and, and goes for the Shadow Ball, and I'm hoping that I can survive. Even though he's at plus two, I'm at plus one. So I'm hoping that I can survive that, um, but I don't. Bye-bye, Dave. Tear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, so he's got Life Orb, and so it's not really that surprising that a super effective Shadow Ball was enough to take uh, him out. So anyway, go and send in Human now, uh, who I'm hoping, just due to its massive bulk, will be able to, uh, you know, wall this guy, scare it out, what have you. He goes ahead and goes for the Aura Sphere here, 
Um, and I'm just hoping that I can survive it because I'm not weak to it or anything. Um, but I think I have a... I don't remember what nature I put on this human, but I think it's minus special defense. So, not good today. Uh, and so he takes some more life orb recoil, and now he's trying. To, now he's starting to sweep through my team. I go ahead and send in my Tachikoma, my Rotom, and I'm just really not sure what I can do to this guy. Um, but anyway, he actually goes for. Oh, he right, he has vacuum wave. Um, so that's why he goes first. And at plus two, that's actually enough to take out my Rotom. So he's sw now swept through half my team. And that is just not good because I have no idea who's going to be able to take this guy out. So um, I go ahead and send in my Roomba, my last best hope. Actually, not my best hope at all. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm floating in the air with an air balloon, but he's not going to use Earthquake or anything. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the Aura Sphere because he knows he's faster. Um, I mean, Magnezones are not particularly speedy, and he knows I'm not scarfed or anything. Um, and Aura Sphere at plus two is going to be enough to Oko me. So my Roomba is down. And I've only got one Pokemon left, uh, and that's my Aselgore, but the rocks are up, so, you know, this, this match is over. Uh, really great game, Cool People 33, and um, thank you for giving me an excuse to talk about why I breed. Um, yeah, again, it's just, it's just what I do. It's not really, you know, it's not like an I'm better than you thing, it's just because I like to breed, and I'm you know, retentive that way. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's the battle, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so today, by the way, is the one-year anniversary of when I opened my YouTube account, just so you know. Um, I'm probably going to be, be doing something special for the one-year anniversary of my first upload, um, but haven't really decided yet. So, um, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I know I've been bad about the challenges recently, but real life should start taking over my life, and I should be able to do more battles um, hopefully soon. So peace out, folks, and enjoy your life.